Wouldn't it be amazing if there were a device that untangled knots automatically? Inside your body, there is. It's called a topoisomerase. It untangles knots in our DNA in an incredible process that keeps us all alive. DNA carries assembly instructions required for your body to generate new cells. But for DNA to do its work, it must be copied in a process known as replication. During replication, the DNA strands are separated and protein machines use each strand to make a copy of the opposite strand. The end result is two copies of the original DNA. However, DNA replication faces a life or death challenge before it can complete its mission. Separating the DNA strands causes twisting in the portion of DNA that has not yet been separated. Eventually, the tension from the twisting increases so much that the uncopied segment of DNA wraps around itself in what are referred to as supercoils. If nothing intervenes, this buildup of supercoils will completely shut down the DNA replication process since the two strands can no longer be separated and your cells will die. Enter special proteins called topoisomerases to the rescue. Topoisomerases are amazing molecular machines that untangle knots. They come in two main types. Type 2 typically has three main sections. An upper gate, a middle gate and a lower gate. Each gate can open or close during the protein's operation. A type 2 topoisomerase untangles DNA in four main steps. First, after two DNA segments enter through the top gate, it uses the middle gate to break one segment of DNA apart. Next, it passes the other DNA segment through this break. Then occurs the crucial step. The topoisomerase recombines the first DNA segment. The result is the elimination of two supercoils. Finally, now that the two DNA segments have been untangled, they are released by the topoisomerase. The second strand is released out the bottom and the first strand is released out the top. Of course, this is just a simple summary. The actual process is a lot more complicated. Get ready for a more detailed version of how this process may take place based upon the latest research. When we zoom in on the upper part of the topoisomerase, one of the two overlapping DNA segments enters the upper gate. It then binds to the middle gate. Now the second DNA segment enters the upper gate. The DNA in the middle gate is cut in two by the topoisomerase. Two ATP molecules attach to the upper gate and the gate closes. One of the ATP molecules is broken apart into ADP and phosphate, releasing energy that may help keep the upper gate together during the next steps. The middle gate now opens and pulls the two halves of the broken DNA apart, creating a gap. Since the middle gate is connected to the broken ends, the DNA remains attached to it. The second DNA segment now moves through this gap. The middle gate closes and the attached DNA ends are reconnected. The upper gate rotates, which may prevent the second segment from moving back through the break. The remaining ATP molecule breaks apart and the lower gate opens, allowing the second DNA segment to leave. Then the lower gate closes, the upper gate opens and the first segment of DNA is finally released. The topoisomerase is now reset ready to perform the same process all over again. The topoisomerase molecular machine is a wonder of the biological world. Its operation is highly orchestrated, displaying exquisite and intelligent design.